Thanks for having me. My name is Ian McCarthy, first year coach of G&G, uh, 2024 uh, Boys Basketball State Champions. Yeah, in, in that particular game, Marshwood happened to be a team that, uh, a much bigger school than us, we didn't have a chance to play in the regular season. But again, um, that game alone, I think, proved to not only us, but our fans that um, this group of guys were special and we could get it done the following year, and we did. We did it! Success is great, but oftentimes the only way you get there is if you learn how to fail. And, um, you know, losing last year was just an example of that. I think that's what drove them to success is the fact that um, they, uh, they experienced failure. Um, that's probably not the right word, but um, just falling short to uh, of what their goal was. And that's, that's the real world. Uh, not everyone succeeds. It's how do you respond and react. And I think that's what's going to uh, better prepare these young athletes um, for the next uh, step in life. Relentless, uh, tenacious, the, the motor on this team is unlike any others that I've coached and been a part of, and I think that at the end of the day was what won a lot of our games. We wore teams out. I've never seen or been a part of a team that was more motivated to win, and that includes the families around them. Uh, I had uh, parents and siblings of uh, guys on the team that were reaching out with uh, game plans and practice plans and, and ideas of how to uh, defeat the competition. We took it all in, um, absolutely, and embraced it because at the end of the day, it really is about family, and we say it at, after each huddle, uh, we end on family. So um, we embraced it, we loved it, but uh, this whole town, this community was all gearing towards uh, our goal as a team is to get that goal ball. Yeah, it was, it was just a feeling of relief and to look up and, and see the guys celebrating and, and hugging each other. It was um, just a special, special feeling and, and we've had a great bond with these guys. Yeah, I, I especially got emotional when I saw my son and daughter, my son's eight, my daughter is four, um, walk onto the court and they got to experience uh, not only this game but this entire season with this group and to see them celebrate, that was special. Yeah, I think it. I think it does. Um, the town definitely rallied behind us. We we heard it from a number of folks that uh, Gray New Gloucester had the best turnout in terms of fans out of all classes uh, at multiple venues, both for the boys and girls. So uh, the guys now can't go anywhere to the supermarket without um, someone calling their name, and 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 I know they really? enjoyed that. Does, that. does that really happen? Yeah, same with me. Last night, a perfect example, I was in the parking lot and all of a sudden I heard, hey coach, and uh, he said it twice and caught my attention. I looked over and he was two, two sections over in the parking lot and he just said, great game, uh, great work and congratulations to you and the guys. And his, it looked like he, his four-year-old son was, was walking with him and, and he had a big smile on his face. So that was someone I had never met and went out of their way to congratulate us and um, th that to me means a lot. Absolutely not. No chance. Um, these memories will last for a lifetime and uh, the relationships developed with these guys, not only because of the win, but just the, the group is how special they are. Um, I know we'll stay in touch forever.